A wide variety of films ready to be showcased at the Atlantic Highlands Marina. Hi and welcome to Brookdale Newsmakers, your source of what's happening in and around our campus. I'm Tim Kettlefamil and joining us today is Robert O'Connor, who will be talking about the Film One Festival coming up this July. Thanks for joining us today, Robert. Happy to be here. Now, what can you tell me about this festival? Uh, let's see, it's our sixth year. Um, and it, it, um, it showcases films under two minutes in length. And we get films from all over the world in every imaginable genre and category you can imagine, from animation to horror to abstract. Um, Do you have any comedy? Lots of comedy. Lots of comedy. Um, so it's, it's kind of a snapshot of what's going on uh, online, because this format um, allows for um, people who don't normally make films to make a film because it's such a short format and you don't need fancy equipment to do it. So we get amateurs and professionals, and so it's quite a mix of films. Now, I think you may have answered my question, but just to reaffirm it, can yeah. anybody submit a film to the yep. festival? Anyone can submit. Uh, any age, any level of um, proficiency in filmmaking. We do have judges who review everything and pick um, roughly 60 films to show each year. Now, how are, they, um, how, how are the awards given for the judges? How, how do they the award judges, the judges, we have uh, anywhere between four and six judges every year, and each of them picks their jury pick. Um, so we don't really have categories, uh, but they pick their favorites, and, um, and then the directors, myself and my co-director, pick a film. And we have some honorable mentions, and usually uh, animation is in there, and live action, and we try to hit all the different genres and levels of ability, too, from professionals to amateurs. Now, I know you said the event's been going on for six years. Is it just for New Jersey, or is it nationwide or international? Um, it's actually international. Uh, the audience we get in Atlantic Highlands tends to be fairly local, uh, but some people do come in from out of the area, out of state even. Uh, and we have had filmmakers attend. We had a, a filmmaker from Poland fly in to oh, attend. Wow. Um, I think that was the furthest away. But um, yeah, it's, it's really a wonderful, wonderful day uh, in the town and the whole town comes together. And it's not just films, it's artisans and um, music and craftspeople. So it's really a great day. Now, for you personally, what is your most memorable film? What's, the, what's a film oh. that <laughs> sticks out, or maybe a couple films that stick out that uh, you think, wow, that was a really, really good well, film? Well, I guess the films that really uh, hit me hardest are the ones with a, a strong twist at the end, like something unexpected. So, um, oh, let's see. We had one where... Uh, fairly um, common, uh, one that was seen online quite a bit. Uh, this blind man is begging in the street and this woman keeps walking by and one day um, she grabs his sign and writes something on it and all of a sudden people are just throwing lots of money in his, his uh, can and she comes back and he, he, he couldn't see what she wrote and he, and he said to her, what did you write? And she said, um, I can't see the beautiful day that you can see. Something oh. like that. It was really very beautiful. So it was like beautiful. a sentimental. Yeah, it was very profound and sentimental. So, oh. And then there are some great horror ones. And um, so, wow. yeah, so that would probably. Any celebrities yeah. do you have come? And any time, any big name filmmakers, any celebrities that show up sometimes? Some we do time. have um, some local fairly well-known people uh, in the film industry that help us out. Uh, Tom Bernard of Sony Pictures Classics is a big supporter of ours, and he's come to the festival. Um, one of our judges, Gedney Webb, he's a mu music editor for films, and he's worked on Chicago and films like that. So, yeah, we do. All right, well, this sounds like a really, really great festival, and uh, wish you best of luck with it. Thank you so much. Uh, all right, submissions are open now, so submit them, please. And thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Brookdale Newsmakers. I'm Tim Catafamo. Have a nice day.